This next, next tutorial is going to look at uh, moving an object around and sort of managing inputs and reading positions. So we're starting to really weave all these different sort of concepts together. So let me run it first so you can see how it works. So we have a black ground, there's a white rectangle sitting in the middle of the screen. If I mouse over it, it changes color. If I click on it, I can drag it. So I'm holding down the mouse button and dragging it around. And then as soon as I let go, it puts it down, right? So click, release, click, release, click, release. So how does this work? OK, so we've got variables for position x, position y. That's a position position of the rectangle, the size of the rectangle. We also have a boolean which hold which is currently set to false. Um, the size is 500 by 500. Rec mode is from the center. Um, that's important just for setting up conditionals. That way you've got a center and then you're testing width and height. So let's march through that. So this is the first conditional, right? And what it is, is it's asking if mouse x is greater than the position x minus the width divided by 2. So if mouse x is greater than position x, which is the center, minus half the width. So that would be that edge. And then it continues. And it's, great, it's less than this value. And it's greater than this value on the y axis and it's less than this value and it's all center plus or minus the width right so center the boundary for left to right is center minus half the width between the, and the center plus half the width so it's between the center minus half the width and the and the center plus half of the width. It's the height is it greater than the center minus half the width and less than the center plus half the width. So it's sitting inside this boundary. So if that first condition is met, it changes color. And if that condition is met and I'm pressing the mouse, you can see it's set to true. And you probably also saw, so I'm gonna I'm gonna release it. Let's get this centered again. So if I'm up on the corner, it actually hops to the center because now, if mouse pressed is true, it sets hold to true, and then we exit this conditional here. And if hold is true, position X and position Y are now being passed the values of mouse X and mouse Y. So now you're actually moving the position x and position y of the mouse. As long as the mouse is pressed, as soon as you press the mouse, you turned the boolean to true, and then this is going to stay in that state and draw the rectangle along with the mouse until the mouse is released. When the mouse is released, hold is set to false. And so since it's no longer true, position x and position y now hold the last values that mouse x and mouse y had before you before you released the mouse so and just a little explanation because this may seem a bit complicated um, if i hadn't done this if i didn't have this boolean um, as i didn't in a previous version i'm going to just illustrate how it was working before and what the problem was. So I'm going to comment this out. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it up inside of this conditional. And this is how I originally wrote it. And one of the things I found was so now hold isn't doing anything. It, it will be flipping between true and false, but it doesn't matter. So I'm going to run this again just to illustrate the problem that this Boolean addresses. And so, oops. 
I forgot I have to keep the mouse pressed part because position X and position Y have to be part inside of mouse pressed. Okay. Let's clean up this. Okay, so if the first condition is met, changes color. Then if mouse pressed is true, it does that. If mouse pressed equals true, it starts passing the values of mouse X and mouse Y to position X, position Y. So if I run this now, you can see, okay, it's changing color. And when I click on it, now I can drag it. But one of the problems I had is it was very easy to fall out. Like I didn't release the mouse there and it drops it. So you have to move at a certain speed. So it slows you down you can quickly move outside of this first conditional and then it will no longer be met so this will no longer happen so that's what the whole purpose of adding the boolean that you're turning on and off so you're kind of flipping a switch that says hold this until I'm done so I can move as fast as I want so if I un if I undo all of the changes I made doo -doo. Right? So that way, what happens is I meet these conditions, and then as soon as I hit mouse pressed, it changes the value to true, and it's going to stay that way until I release the mouse. So as long as I'm holding the mouse down, this value stays true, and then as soon as I release the mouse, it becomes false, and so this stops happening. So it's a much more resilient way to handle this. And you'll find that booleans are very useful for sort of more reliant behavior. See, so now I can really run my mouse around and it'll just keep catching up with me, right? So it's much more responsive and much more durable. Okay.